Hi everybody, this is Avril Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance with uh, H1Z1. Uh, you can change your uh, graphic option inside of the game, but uh, you don't have a lot of options. So I will show you how to do it. First of all, you just go to your H1Z1 in your Steam account. Click on Properties. After that, Local File. You go to Browser Local File. Now you're in your H1Z1 document you will need to search for the user option. You double click on it. Now you see all your setting inside of the game. So first of all, the display, uh, this is your resolution. For sure, if you lower that, you will gain a lot of FPS. So right now I'm at uh, uh, 1080p, uh, so it's full HD, so it's pretty standard, but you can lower that to 720p if you want uh, to improve your graphic. I use window full screen mode, not because it, I gain some FPS, it's just because I stream. So when I alt tab, it's more easy for me. HD pixel plus. This one is really important. The standard of the, of the game, it's one. You can improve it if you want, but it, it will cost you a lot of FPS. If you don't have a, lot, a good computer and a good processor, uh, you can maybe put this at 0 0.8. You will see that the graphic will look a little bit pixeled but um, you will gain maybe 15 FPS. So it's really, uh, it's a high value over there if you change it. Rendering, I'm using two because I don't like the effect uh, of the game when you, you are at three. So a thing that I wanna say right now, you can use zero, one, two, and three for variable. Uh, three is the best, zero is the, the last, okay? So, Effect, I'm putting two, and texture quality, two, two. Uh, those ones are, you can gain maybe one to five FPS if you put it at one or zero, but they are not like very uh, important for your uh, performance. Shadow quality and flora quality. Uh, those one, I'm using zero. First of all, shadow in that game use a lot of, uh, of your processor. So if you put it at zero, no shadow, you will gain a lot of FPS. Same thing with the flora detail. So uh, those one I'm pulling at two, you will see a, a lot of improvement with your performance. And by the way, I'm using an i7 4070K. So it's a pretty good processor. And my video cards is a less, it's a little bit weaker. It's a R9 from AMD 280X, okay? Um, after that, render distance. I improved it a, a little bit for 1700, but uh, it's because I want to see a uh, further in the game. But uh, if you don't have a good computer, the standard is 1,500. I, uh, you can put it if you want at 1,250 and just tested it, you will see a lot of improvement for your FPS. Gamma, max FPS, you don't want to use it. Smoothing, I don't use it. Vertical fav, I'm putting 70 because it's you see a little bit better when you play. But uh, the maximum is 70. You can, even if you try 80 or 90, it's, it doesn't work. Model quality, you can put it at three. It doesn't change anything really. I test it to zero and I save like two FPS. So it's not that bad. But for sure, if you have a really bad computer, just use zero or one everywhere. <laughs> fog shadow quality, I put it at zero because you, you have a kind of like a fog in the game. And the game is... It, it's not like, uh, how can I say that? Uh, the optimization of that game is really bad. So those kind of options, you just want to remove it. Same thing for the lightning quality. And um, particle LOD, I'm using two because the thing is, when you shoot at this game, you see the particles. So when you see the particle, you know when you where you're shooting. So it's kind of important. But uh, if you have a bad computer, for sure remove it because I see that you can improve three to five FPS again if you put it at zero. So uh, it's kind of important because it, it touch your gameplay. So that's why I'm, I'm said like using two, you're good with that. All those other options is more about control, sound. You don't have a lot of stuff to change. It's pretty much it. Uh, mouse sensitivity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When you finish exactly. updating your um, your document. Don't forget to save it and override it. After that, you need to make sure that you click on properties and you click read only, really important, and you click okay. Thing is, if you don't click read only and you boot the game, 
and you change whatever graphic inside of the game, it will override your document. So make sure that you're using read only. And if you want to change stuff inside of your document, you need to remove the read only, change your stuff, save it again and put read only back. So that's about it. If you have any question, uh, you can post this, post it in the comment section and uh, give me your, uh, your full PC like processor, uh, uh, RAM, uh, video card, etc, etc, because I will uh, answer your question uh, the best that I can. And that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much guys bye bye